Okay, so here's part two. What I've done is I've imported 466 items, all so every single picture displays the same frame, same amount of frames in your movie. So what you see, if I zoom out on this, is that every single picture looks like just a little sliver. So I press play, okay, on each of these, and I go through it. You can see, if I just scrub through, that now the stop motion actually works. Sometimes what happens, you might have to do this twice, is that if I double click on this picture, it's, for some reason it defaults to this 9 seconds, 29 frames each. And sometimes it does that for every single photo. If that happens, which happens here, click on one picture in your timeline, do Command A and delete them, okay, and go back and do your Ken Burns, do that again. Set it to three this time, do Command A to select them all and then apply them again, and then it's going to import. We found that there's no rhyme or reason why one Mac does it one day and then it doesn't do it the next day, or the one on one side of the room brings them all in at three frames and then the next one does a default of nine, uh, nine seconds and 29 frames. And looks like it's going to do that again for here. So you got to just play with it. The worst case scenario is that you have to do it for every single picture. And that is a pain in the butt. So once this is done, um, once this is done importing all these files, I'm going to show you how you can do that. You can actually go through and double click individually and change the time of each picture 400 times. So think about the time it's going to take to do that, but the end result, the product is really cool. So I'm going to just wait. We got about. 60, 70 more, 70 or 80 more pictures here to import, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, we're just about done. 20 more pictures, and we're done. So it looks like every picture here, click this button, is going to show up for the nine seconds. Here's how you change that click on the first picture, double click and delete this and just put in the number five and hit enter or set this is what happens to that I'm going to open it up again if you just leave it as a five it will put it in for five frames and you're cooking double click here we can select all delete just go hit the number five enter double click five enter double click I've enter. You get the idea. You can probably do this really fast. Multiple 466 times. So there you have it. Creating stop motion. If you want to go into GarageBand, you can share this into GarageBand and add your own music over top. Or if you want to import audio, you can go ahead and do that. Click on audio. Go to iTunes. You can bring in some music. Once that imports, you can then have some stop motion music for your presentation. There you have it. Hope this helped. Good luck with your stop motion movies. This is Mr. Nickel, signing out.